It is really, really miserable out there. Yeah, I'll show sure, you. Yeah. It's pretty pointless. Pretty pointless weather. Anyway. I'm thinking is somehow I'm going to tie back into this like from the boot floor piece but I'll tell you what it'd be nice to get the subframe up in the hole properly and get the boot floor piece in how we want it tonight I've had a couple of those days that you get today's kind of all right because I love the job that I'm doing on Thursdays and Fridays. I'm going to try and set the camera up again and in a different position and get a different view of some more cutting and grinding on the uh, cutting and grinding channel. to um, have a quick measure and see see if it's anywhere near close which is 900 and eight. 
Right, so I've got to take a bit more out of there. Four seventy. So I should be able to easily get that up in there, providing it's in the right place. But I'm going to get the brake pipes out of the way. Submarine right up in here, but got a lot to cut out still to get it right up, right up. So, this is just going to be a trial fit before it goes right up. Welcome back to the Jack and Subframe Up Into A Car channel. Ooh, remember to subscribe to the Jack and Subframe Up Into A Car channel. Here we go. This is what it feels like to be jacked up into a car. Still got a fair way to go. some of this out now. Need room for the wishbones. But it's I'm sure it's still gonna come up about three inches or so. What did I say? It had to be nine inches above the floor. Level. So about here, where that black mark is, that's where the top of the MX5 chassis piece has got to go. And we're talking four and a quarter down from there. So we are talking like here. I've spent a long time making all this stuff and I'm cutting it right back out. Sick! Right, so I'm going to go next. Subframe's got to go about half an inch further forward on this side, or half, depending on what part of the country you're from, and three quarter on this side.
It's that time again. face which is too high Than it was the other night. <laughs> right, so let's get the uh, prop up. Up there. What I'm doing here. That's where I want it. So I'm like. Just checking the prop is level in the top of the tunnel. It could actually go a little bit more. Like, come, the subframe could come down a little bit more. But with the hubs, where the hubs are in the arch, it looks like it's going to be damn low. Which is awesome. I've cut enough out for the subframe. This this piece here is just to hold it level. It's not on the jack very well. 
because of the offset of the diff to the to the driver's side that means the exhaust has got enough room to run down the passenger side of the tunnel the prop is effectively one inch so the prop prop's going to come halfway between these two marks so the gear stick the gearbox is going to end gearbox is going to end pretty much in between those two marks which means there's not much tunnel there it's all going to be tunnel up the front so I've just placed this in here to give me an idea of height but it almost looks like it almost looks like this um, chassis piece might be near enough the right height to tie right into the the rear of the car where the um, I don't even know what you call that it's like a slam panel but on the back where the boots boot shuts down where the latch is so that might tie right in which will mean I'll just cut all that out at the bottom I'll remove the chassis rail underneath what's remaining of it and I'll just I'll just keep a, there's a hole down there which is where the bumper bolts in so I'll probably just make some new mountings of some sort or we'll just keep those bits cut all the rest out I may keep it just box it in but I don't want to make it too sturdy because I'm bound to have a crash at some point so maybe I cut that out and make make it so that I can weld a crash bar or have a bolt on crash bar that comes right out the back of the car right out the back of here and the bumper attaches to that and get rid of the crash bar that's inside inside the bumper yeah so I can get rid of the metal inside the bumper although is it worth it I don't know make some sort of crash bar although do I want a crash bar attaching to my subframe mounting points because that would be bad in a crash but I can't start welding anything in until I've got the jig made the jig's going to be fingers crossed on the weekend I gotta try and get home in this I think it'll be fine it doesn't look like it's particularly settled pointless weather Ridiculous. Right, so it's 10 o'clock. I've had enough of the night. That's just going to be it now. Right, cheers then.